Hi, I'm Ashoka, anesthesiologist and a medical educator. So this comes in at a time when the stores are being emptied of face masks, hand rubs, sanitizers and even food supplies. We need to pause and think of precautions for the home and workplace. By home, we are looking at shoes, phones and hand. I think the grandma's rules apply. When we walk in with our dirty shoes, they need to stop at the doorstep. When we enter the house, we need to wash our face, hands and legs before we touch food or any surface. When we bring work home with our smarter phones with teeming bugs on it, we need to wipe them clear before we give it to the kids. At bedtime, take a shower before you snuggle in with your loved ones. When someone's at home is not well, we need to enhance precautions to minimize cross-contamination. It could be at least to dispose of the tissues and dirty linen. We can choose to personalize plates, cups, zippers, blankets and towels. Meal time precautions are paramount. We need to individualize portions before we start to have the meals. Be it a chopstick, a spoon or by the mouth. When food goes to your mouth, to your cup, it should not cross contaminate the table there. Each one's immunity is different. The virus always chooses the weaker host. And we could be carriers taking it to the kids and elderly at home. When we go to work and school, remember to choose the auto door that goes zoom zoom where we could avoid using your hands swabbing the railings and contaminate yourself. Minimize uh, transactions and use contactless payment. When someone's not that well, if you could offer a new mask to them, that will be great. By face mask, we have created a cadre and class around ourselves. Not all of us need to wear, but when we tend to, I see the uh, simple loop masks which have got uh, the nose bridge on the top, but I've seen them wear in all directions. The surgical three-ply masks, when secretions are jetting at us at workplace, we use the splash proofs and the N95. They, we call them the tuck masks and the chokers. I have seen people dosing off wearing them. Remember, there are two surfaces. When someone's unwell and coughing, they are coughing onto this surface on the inside where it catches it. When you are healthy and you are protecting from others at the outside, this is the one which catches. So any of this which you touch and leave on the surface, we cross contaminate the surface at workplace. You could use hand rubs, many of this are antibacterial. Be it antiviral, it has to be the five steps of hand hygiene before it could be effective. The tropical wisdom of Kapunka, Arihato, Namaste, hands free contact helps. So remember, stay cheerful. What stays at work stays at work. Shoes, phones, and hands. Share your love, not the virus. Stop the fake and hate media. Thank you.